All right, guys. Good evening, and welcome to this wonderful Saturday talk. Okay, I, I I call it differently. Sometimes I call it Saturday talk. I call it sometimes Chai Pe Charcha. Different different words I call it. But the most important thing is that I enjoy talking to my bacha. Wow, Chai Pe Charcha, talking to bacha. Make sense? Uh, today we have one of our one more very very what you can say achieved. a fantastic person who has done phenomenal work in his own business and also in family business more important in the family business his own business is actually a offshoot of his family business okay so we have today with us a chartered accountant om thakkar with us who is a graduate of the third batch of the gfmb program om is a chartered accountant as i just mentioned he own he is the director of the company oasis infrastructure and he also started a a startup which is in fintech sector which is oasis fintech more than that he is also a very good speaker he has been a very good motivator to young students at different different school colleges and at different different forums in fact we both had been going to a couple of um, forums during this lockdown period also on a zoom wherein we talked to different different youngsters in colleges uh, he was also interviewed by a magazine on his achievement and uh, he is his way of getting along with his friends is also amazing perhaps i don't think so that anybody from his batch would not be knowing him or he would have not touch base with them so meaning thereby is good in making relations with people as well so that's for you guys it's om thakkar om welcome to this program beta thank you so much sir thank you so much for such a wonderful introduction and uh, just the way you mentioned i uh, also felt that okay i have done couple of things at uh, even i was really not about <laughs> okay so i wasn't exact exaggerating by the way for all the wonderful people this is real what i know i mean this is what i know right so it's real okay so thank, also, you, thank you very much for this program and thank give you. my regards to your dad your sister your mom everybody definitely sir definitely sir okay uh om this is my first question to you Right. and that is before we get on to the journey of interacting with you i want you to sh share your part of the story share something about you like how you grew up in this and then being chartered accountant then being a part of this everything so share your story sure sir so as uh, sir has rightly mentioned that uh, there were couple of uh, a couple of businesses that i have been currently involved in so i will just tell you the story exactly like i'll just uh, briefly discuss about it how this thing started um why uh it started what uh, exactly what business it started and how i ended up into it and all those things so right from the beginning i'll start probably right uh, i'll just go a bit more deeper right from the childhood i would say so obviously like every other kid i belong to a, a family where an education has been given uh, utmost importance mm -hmm. so uh right from the beginning my mom has been very much uh, passionate about uh, you know a learning learning experience be it in whatever form gain knowledge so although having a, a family business at the back uh, she was always very keen of me doing a professional degree be it whatever of, uh, of whatever i feel like doing of my choice so she was uh, very persistent on uh, getting me into uh, you know any particular degree so i chose chartered accountancy for that matter and by the grace of god obviously with sheer hard work but grace of god and the blessings of everyone i was fortunate enough to clear in first attempt and uh, that happened and uh, like any other uh, you know offspring of a family business theek hai business to hai chalo join kar lete <laughs> so but then my dad uh, at that moment gave me a very big shock at that uh, situation i joined the family business and he said that um, i don't think so it's the right time for you to join the business you need to go and experiment outside first go get a job for yourself so i thought he was kidding at first but uh, later i thought okay now that comes as another challenge to me so i made a cv which obviously i thought i'll never make in my life ever but then uh, suddenly that uh, was a um, changing situation for me i made a cv i applied a couple of places in the big four consultancy places and the banks and the um, invest banking firms and all so i appeared for interviews and uh, again fortunate enough to get selected i got selected in most of them and then i selected that yes bank profile uh, i selected a, a profile uh, 
banking profile which kind of matched because it was more towards on the front ending part in the marketing segment and obviously coming from a finance uh, background i always wanted to experiment something in that because eventually when i go back to the business marketing is something that i really uh, it had to be there in me so then i wanted to experiment that so i joined i gave me gave them a commitment that i'll be joining the job and i came back to office said that uh, i'm joining so he said nahi nee, nee, i was just uh, just thinking whether you'll be able to clear the interviews no no you can get back to the business <laughs> so <laughs> so it was then, an exam it was an exam yeah so he he thought that you know i didn't want to he didn't want me to take things very lightly so he said when you go appear for interviews and you really understand how they uh, you know test you and you will get rejected that's when you realize that it was an easier process for you to join the business so he wanted that thing to happen probably so so i then said uh, since i have already given a commitment uh, uh, to this bank obviously uh, it will be wrong on my part to now back out so i am going forward with it but i am pretty sure that i'll not be it is a learning experience and probably one two years down the line i'll again be uh, be back to the business and that's what my future plan was any which ways hmm. yeah your wish you are okay doing whatever you want but this is something that theek uh, hai you can go ahead with it so i joined bank and uh, that 9 to 5 culture obviously being a chartered accountant i was good with the numbers and all the stuff but then uh, marketing and also i was doing good i was learning it was more of a learning experience altogether but then 8 9 months down the line i was kind of a bit bored with the uh, because it is more when i have to work for myself i it i have new ideas in my mind which i always want to in, implement and experiment uh, experiment which i wasn't really able to do when i was working in a bank at that moment so then um at that time i thought ke mba kar leta hu it's a good time to you know study more and then uh, dad suggested that uh, now it's my time to say something more <laughs> so you know, there's there's this course even if you want to apply for cat or whatever you just go and just research about this course if it is um, you know helpful to you then you should rather be joining for this course because eventually you'll be joining family business and i appeared for interviews and uh, god has been fortunate like always to me i got selected and then the main uh, course the gfmb course happened to me and uh, being a part of this course i have gone through so many changes in me it was a kind of a self development or a um, so i measure my growth every year in terms of my personality development basically or i don't uh, uh, you know have a set initially i used to say that uh, in numbers i used to measure myself that this is something that i want to achieve or this is something that i want to achieve by this age or something but then it has kind of changed now so now i have been measuring my growth in a you know annual basis in a situation such a manner that one year down the line or probably one year backwards what my situation what was what decisions i was uh, capable of taking one year more uh, further what decisions i will be uh, capable of taking and you know that's the uh, the kind of attitude i have now and the kind of uh, the caliber of understanding things more better is what i measure myself and uh, by doing this course i think that uh, time period has kind of reduced for me or okay. way more when i th- see people uh, you know a lot of friends of mine who've been uh, kind of uh, been involved in their family business when i uh, you know when i see apple to apple of my decision making skills to theirs or probably my um, you know situation handling power to theirs then i just feel that probably this course has helped me in that particular genre a lot okay. yeah so so um, i understand that your journey has been right from initial period it has always been focused on education i mean not your but it was because of the foundation in the family like that and then you eventually evolved into it and so that's how you came to gfm that's what you really mentioned let me talk about the second question um let's talk in specifics that what are the two or three such incidents specific to uh, networking uh, specific to operations and specific to marketing that you would like to highlight from the course true sir so i will start with the first and the very obvious uh, learning that i have got from this course or 
for that matter not only me but any person any person will be joining this course this particular learning is a sure sure thing that a person can take back when he gets back to his family business is uh, provided that he himself is much more inclined to get into that kind of a zone is to get himself out of the comfort zone that uh, is the first point that i have got uh, that i have learned or probably undergone uh, during this courses to get out of the comfort zone because we uh, being a part of our family business or probably businesses wherein uh, you know who come from a very guarded or a very uh, protected families so they do not let uh, so we don't get a chance to experiment our lives into difficult situations or wherein we are not exposed to such situations wherein we have to uh, take certain critical uh, decisions wherein it could be a do or die or probably failure or uh, success we don't experience experience those very quickly because we've been always been in a good good positive vibes and a successful uh, atmosphere that mean we've not uh, seen much of failures or a negative atmosphere or fallbacks or setbacks or something of that sort so when uh, this kind of a scenario uh, when i joined gfmb i was told very uh, practically i just understood business is not good business is you have to do good for your business basically correct so um, and that happens when you try to get out of your comfort zone initially uh, i would say when i family business as i said sir family business was always there i could have continued with the same and i would have still prospered and made good money out of it but then eventually i just realized a few probably a year and a half down the line that i have something in me uh, much more that i can experiment at this moment i had a knowledge of ca so i thought of doing this uh, fincorp uh, oss fincorp is the financial uh, uh, arm that we have right now so i just tried to venture into it i thought we can definitely make some money out of it and obviously that could be a, a hobby or some passion wherein i can make good decent money in the long term also when i just thought and i just share my ideology with a couple of the, a couple of friends or family friends or some people started laughing at me they said that ye karne ka zarurat kya hai na you know the, the uh, baap ka nanda hai fir ye sab karne ka zarurat kya hai or uh, you know you too, too early to uh, advise people or consult that's uh, the primary thing that we end up doing here so you're too young to consult people within the family also i got a lot of people saying that you know um, why do we want to go and do such a thing karne ka zarurat nahi hai what if you make losses you know it will probably affect your goodwill of the company's goodwill uh, family business but then ek andar se tha ke sir abhi nahi to kabhi nahi you know okay. ड्रीम so getting out of comfort zone and obviously the primary and things which made me get out of my comfort zone was udan specifically and the i don't know whether i'm allowed to uh, get into those details what we ended up in udan but yeah so there was a couple of tasks that uh, obviously sir knows how uh, i ended up doing or probably our entire team ended up doing and those tasks being such that a person from any person from a family business from a uh, uh, employee background or any person would uh, not think about doing or experimenting but all of us did it rather i wouldn't say ki i did it or people from my team did but i guess i believe everyone from our batch did it and i believe everyone who joined gfmb course has done those things and have really uh, found a change within themselves within a single day yes. and those tasks were um, as silly as going on the road dancing with the cops or probably um, you know uh, going to the railway station and dancing on the platform or uh, uh, you know polishing the shoes or just uh, gate dashing someone's wedding and getting the photo click with the groom and bride and as silly as that but uh, we never thought that we would ever be doing uh, such kind of silly things but when put in a situation wherein that becomes a challenge for you 
देन वी रियली थॉट दैट यू नो ये नहीं ये नहीं कर सकता है क्या यू नो अगर कल उठ के ये चीज के लिए पांच करोड़ मिलेगा तो ये नहीं करेगा क्या तो पांच करोड़ मिला नहीं लेकिन वो सिर्फ मालूम पड़ गया कि ये करेगा तो कल उठ के पांच करोड़ मिल सकता है सो वो ही सब सर लेसन था सो दैट बींग द प्राइमरी थिंग दैट आई हैव डेफिनेटली इनकल्केटेड दैट वन थिंग दैट अनलेस यू डोंट गेट आउट ऑफ योर कंफर्ट जोन यू विल डेफिनेटली नॉट बी एबल टू अचीव एनी थिंग इन लाइफ you have to go uh, undergo difficult things in your uh, life to get more uh, you know benefits out of it and that was the first thing and uh, uh, second thing i would the second i asked was about the operation anything that you learned specific in operation of your business or maybe generally so operations uh, again getting back to the same points uh, operations definitely there me being basically from a finance background and coming to a set up wherein our finance is a part and parcel of every business obviously for obvious reasons but as uh, is more our business is more towards engineering setup it's more into mechanical engineering electrical engineering and uh, so probably 3 4 months down the line i was just doing what i was good at uh, finance sambhalo wagera wagera and then i remember one lecture wherein uh, nimesh rathod sir had uh, asked Okay, so this probably even I'm discussing you for the first time. I don't really know whether I've discussed with you or not before. So obviously, वो एक ऐसा तो रहता ही है कि हमने भी कुछ किया है टाइप्स. So uh, during this session, where a nimesha has asked us to rate ourselves, you know, uh, on the basis of our performance that we have been doing in our office, where do you see yourself in your office? Rate out of ten, and ten being the best and zero being the worst, like uh, obvious thing. So. Uh, so so I I I obviously ऐसा लगता है कि अपन भाई सी ए है सो आई रेटेड माई सेल्फ एट सो देन ही मेड एवरी वन स्टैंड अपटेड एट एंड अबाउ समथिंग सो आई जस्ट गुड अपर सर ही लाइक वॉट आर यू डूइंग दैट यू रेट योर सेल्फ एट गिवन योर ग्रेट जस्ट एट सो आई सर सर आई हेव बीन आई एम अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट एंड सर आई एम लुकिंग इन टू माई फाइनेंसिस एंड आई हेव बीन द वन मेकिंग द डिसीजन फॉर यू नो द uh financial whatever analysis and all those things have been doing good i i feel i am good at it he is like okay so by doing that you think that uh, you know your company is growing exponentially your sales are growing i said no sales are not growing so then he is like oh so your costs are reducing comparatively your purchases have reduced or you uh, uh, found more different ways of purchase i said no that has also not happened so he is like what are you doing i like different modes of finance and all those things so he's like if you wouldn't have done that uh, can your father uh, hire someone else to do that work or probably even if you were not part of the business was someone else doing it i said yeah but i think i am doing better so he <laughs> so he is like according to me i would rate you say zero so uh, like he he wasn't a pretty harsh at that moment but then that feeling hurt me so i it really went that deep inside me that uh, coming it from him that you know i couldn't rate myself eight so it was a really a shocker thing that i was really doing something good that's what i felt at that moment and then i realized he said one point if you are not a part of your sales uh, within your company if you are not looking into sales or purchases then i don't think so you are really doing anything great in your business that was a really big um uh, learning uh, learning thing for me learning uh, uh, you know lesson for me wherein i understood that i need to quickly get into either of these two or else i am really not helping my business and my education is basically just i am just using it as a uh, you know uh, probably a, a tool for hiding my uh, uh, disadvantages or probably the things that i don't really know i uh, the things that i know i'm just using it as a tool for uh, gaining a position in my company i just felt that at that moment so then i said the next day i said okay now this is the time so i just got into marketing wagai thoda bahut to obviously i when i was a part of my bank uh, part of the yes bank i thought i knew so i told my dad that now is the time i need to go into the market do i understand nothing much about uh, how the equipment works where it works what capacity what equipment is used in uh, to do what kind of work and all those things but i want to do something can i go alone in the market so he said you can do whatever you want to do but then i would suggest if you can take someone else uh, along with you so that you don't fumble so i said no i just want to, even if i fumble it's okay right 
what maximum i'll not be approaching the clients that are our existing clients i'll approach new ones so even we any which was not doing business with them so if i happen to just meet them it's okay he's like yeah you up whatever you want to do you can do so i started approaching uh, so the basic thing i did was just went into the website of uh, probably my competitors just saw a couple of clients and i just uh, um, probably the uh, companies that we were not doing business with earlier we had certain inquiries we never responded to that i just started calling up those uh, uh, clients and then just call them for a meeting so they said you can come down to meet us and i started for probably 2 3 months i was just going and meeting couple of them i just uh, so this was a thing that we were uh, earlier associated and this and this and i gave a brief pura bolne mein to apan expert hai so <laughs> so i just went on and on and then uh, probably two and a half month uh, later we just landed up with a client who earlier we were never responding because there was a tedious procedure of lot of documents and all those things and we already were uh, doing good in that particular genre so we never thought of responding to that client but we landed up with a 5 day uh, job with that client with a pricing of 1.5 x that we would charge to our current clients so that was kind of a i just thought that chalo at least wo shub shuruaat hui from there onwards then i realized ke what nimesh sir actually said made sense and finance finance wo jo bolta hu wo kuch kaam ka itna nahi hai hai zaruri hai but wo उससे मतलब घर नहीं चलने वाला है फैमिली बिजनेस पर्सन हैज टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन टू इधर ऑफ दिस टू व्हाट ही सेड दैट मोमेंट वाज 100 परसेंट करेक्ट एंड फ्रॉम दैट डे ऑनवर्ड्स आई हैव बीन लुकिंग इनटू मार्केटिंग 100 परसेंट रादर एंड एंड देन वो चालू हो गया हो गया देन आई लैंडेड अप इनटू सेवरल अदर कंपनीज एंड नाउ वी हैव अ गुड पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ डिफरेंट अदर क्लाइंट्स दैट वी वर ऑलियर नॉट वर्किंग विद एंड सो वही है सर मतलब एक ऑपरेशनल वाइज भी वो एक कंफर्ट जोन से बाहर आना मेरे लिए एक जरूरी था दैट आई दैट वाज अ वो जो भी वो उस टाइम वो गुस्सा लगा या गुस्सा हुआ या गलत लगा बट इट रियली बिकेम अ गेम चेंजर फॉर मी एक्चुअली एक्चुअली वो गलत नहीं था या गुस्सा भी नहीं था उस वक्त तेरे को एक डाउट हुआ अपने आप पे एक्चुअली दैट वाज दैट मोमेंट एट वी दैट वाज दैट मोमेंट आई एम डूइंग सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड फिर भी ये बोल रहे मेरे को जीरो का रेटिंग दे रहे हैं नॉट अ ग्रेट थिंग बट आई थिंक दिस टाइप ऑफ ट्रिगर्स डू हेल्प अस टू थिंक दे डू हेल्प अस टू थिंक फैंटास्टिक पॉइंट ऑन फैंटास्टिक एंड ऑनेस्टली आई ऑलवेज थॉट दैट व्हाई वुड यू नॉट गेट इनटू सेल्स बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑलवेज सीन यू अ वेरी वोकल एंड अ वेरी फ्रेंडली टाइप ऑफ अ पर्सन मे बी this class or that happening might have triggered you more but i was always seen you like that so it's a brilliant contribution fantastic uh, that gets me to the third question om and uh, my third question is how has education at gfmb helped you to create a better forge of bond in your family so sir uh with this uh, so gfmb has i probably remember passing out uh, it's been almost 4 or 5 years now yeah and from that time i remember so as i said that uh, education is like it's being treated as a culture in our family so my sister is a doctor and uh, even right now she's pursuing a master so we we never stopped at getting um, ourselves educated mm. so this particular thing one more thing that i learned from gfmb which is also somewhere uh, it comes within my family also comes from my family also that uh, you know never stop learning okay or uh, you know you should never uh, stop being a student or uh, yeah, again i would say is that uh, you know each day is a learning experience and it is not just in the manner of gaining a lesson from a book or something learning could be in any way it could be in the form of getting a stronger bond within the family having a conversation from someone within your family so i always believe that you should have a conversation from someone younger or someone elder and that best happens within your family or family friends or with friends it generally doesn't happen because when you are talking to a person of your age you have the same mindset you are talking to a person with the same uh, people <clears throat> iq when you are talking to some person who is uh, you know younger to you or elder to you there's a generation gap 
and you get to know get to know different perspectives so when you talk to a person from so this basically i learned from gfme because when we were interacting with guest lecturers or probably people coming in from uh, different uh, you know business backgrounds who were you know mm, uh, coming in as a, a, a consultant or probably a professors for that matter even when we go to uh, back to our family when we share those examples that we've had discussion with them and when i sh- share with my dad and he just comes up with his opinion on that so here when i talk to the same thing if i would have spoken to a friend of mine he would have been acha yes 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 that's right uh, he would have been more uh, you know understanding from me rather than sharing his opinion because his opinion would have been somewhere somewhat like mine but when i talk to a person who is elder to me if i talk to a uh, if i talk to my father he would be like oh did he say this okay so we have also been under uh, uh, we also under one such a situation back five years back and he would have shared his opinion on that or when i uh, talk to a person who is probably 10 years younger to me then that person would be like oh i know nothing about it or oh, does it happen really probably in our generation we've been doing this if such a situation arises then uh, probably you know we would have posted it on our instagram and we would have got so much of so much of this thing we never so that also gives a different perspective i would also share this one particular example that happened just uh, i probably a week ago or something so uh, this so we had uh, sent certain material that we purchased for one of our equipment and mm-hmm. we had uh, couriered it to a place near bihar where our equipment was working and that equipment while it was a uh, going in the courier it broke apart and it was worth some around 500 5 lakh 50000 or something so obviously when i just got to know no i obviously wo thoda wo to hota hai ki ye dhyan se nahi kiya in log ne wagera 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 then i just spoke to a i guess my cousin at that moment and then she said that maine ek lipstick order kiya tha from this particular website and then they did not give it me to uh, give it to me a proper shade so i just replied on that particular website that this is not the way that you do this thing and i reported at uh, a, a couple of forums and online platforms and all those things at that moment i realized ki ye mera courier ka toot gaya i also did the same thing i reported it on the facebook page of that courier uh, website and lot of the companies and all those things within 5 uh, days time i also uh, basically understood ki ye ek cheez kar sakte hai jisse benefit hai a very small example but that when i discussed with someone of i when i spoke to someone you know 10 years younger that's when it really clicked that my sister told you could have even tried it for something else you know if it doesn't really work out right now you when you use social media with that effect it really helps you a lot because we obviously i also come from that background where we are also very much involved in social media but not to that extent where you know you send your complaints and you really get your work done out of social media you are just using it for your time pass we are, we are from that background so this particular when i talk to my father he would uh, say that acha itne mein ye big gaya tuta hua hai scrap ka value kya hai naya lene mein kya hai ye fatot kaam kara kya that's how it happened and when i would have spoken to my friend he would have said acha okay now what to do so when you speak to someone else or probably younger or elder that basically you know it comes as a learning when you discuss with someone else you get to know different perspectives of how things work and uh, that's basically about it that one particular thing so learning i wouldn't say that um, you know a lot of people say ke books padho books padho books padho so nahi hota hai guys what is trying to put across is a very brilliant thought it's not the book padho nahi but he's trying to tell across a very nice point what he just mentioned in his example is learning from the younger generation is learning from the elder generation in a family a relationship of learning happens when you are open to share ek dusre ke sath baat karoge to hi learning ki baat hoegi yadi ek dusre ki galti nikalte rahoge to baat hone ka ya seekhne ka to koi sawal hi nahi hai to relationship bond hoega hi nahi brilliant point oh fantastic fantastic that's gradually taking us towards the end of this session and uh, i would like to i mean this is one standard question that i normally ask and my very st- and that is what would be your message to the youngsters who are on the fencing of the joining the family business or who are on the fencing of joining a gfmb type of a program what is your message to those youngsters so my my basically i would first and foremost say if you 
decided to join your family business then be very much no these are the ones who have not decided then what is the message so so the ones who not decided first understand that you have a family business and that is basically knowing that you have a family business and understanding that you have a family business is different knowing you have a family business is hai na business theek hai chalta rahega apna paisa aa raha hai understanding that you have a family business is understanding the worth of having a family business that you have a business you have a family where they are doing business since ages and you have to take care about it and that if at this age if you really understand that you already have a base that has been set up it is obviously when i say that i need to experiment something i need to do something different but at the same time i always knew that i have a business which was set up years ago and i need to take that forward along with that if i want to experiment i can do it but i cannot just uh, uh, you know keep it aside and just have my own uh, wishes to uh, implement or probably have my own ideas to experiment with and something for me it is always something a very a basic principle that i have my father started uh, the family business our family business right now me and my father who are just taking it forward my father started this family business so he it was his decision to start it so it cannot be my decision to close it it will be his decision to close it to take it forward to do whatever with it i have to just take care of it and along with that if i have something else some other plans i can do that because my uh, my parents my family gives me that wisdom to start something new to diversify into something new and whatever learning exper- uh, experiences that i will i will be having will be from this to start something new i do not want to start something new learn from that and this fall back and again join this that will be stupidity according to me stupidity is a harsh word although but doesn't lega chalega chalega kisi ko ye youngster ko itna to batane ke liye stupidity word chalega correct sir oh yeah sir main main wohi bolna chahta hu that agar family business hai usme kudo usme jao seekho fir jo marzi hai wo karo super मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स हाउ you know even from a single transaction where i thought why is he even doing that but he saw profit motive which you know would have fetched him after probably 5 years that initial discussion that uh, i was very uh, you know uh, uh, i i it was nascent thing that uh, at that moment and i thought ki why is dad even just falling into this mess at this moment you know we have a lot of other things to do but he just saw uh, he had a vision isme abhi sirf giro पांच साल बाद तुमको इतना पैसा कमा के देगी ना ये चीज वी वेंट इनटू सर्वे एक्सपेरिमेंटेड सर्टेन अदर बिजनेसेस आल्सो एंड व्हिच वी आल्सो सो माय डैड ही इज अगेन अ काइंड ऑफ अ मोर अग्रेसिव वर्जन ऑफ मी ही आल्सो कांट कीप क्वाइट ही हैज टू पुट हिज हैंड्स थाउजेंड हैंड्स इन थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड डिफरेंट प्लेसेस सो ही आल्सो एट दिस मोमेंट ही स्टार्टेड द बिजनेस एट द एज ऑफ 45 बाय द वे सर यस दैट आई एम अवेयर दैट आई एम अवेयर या सो that again that but one particular statement is enough for me to even just say that uh, i have to do lot more and i have to grow this business into such a uh, you know into exponentially i just keep uh, can't keep qui- uh, calm and quiet so that's how uh, certain things have really helped me to you know discussions with him or probably just observe him talk to other people and all those things grow myself or probably develop myself or that helps me to interact in a better way with the, uh, my customers or my vendors those are certain things sir and for the uh, people of this generation who not yet decided what to do in their life pehle ek bar ye dekh lo what your parents are doing if they are uh, and if you have a family business for that matter and you know that they have gone through those struggles it is for you if you don't go through those struggles again your kids probably you know might uh, not have anything to say that my father did this you know something of that sir probably uh, i don't know whether... story value story value 
story value. You know, I, I, I remember my dad telling me uh, when I was uh, 10 years old or 12 years old, and that when he started this business in East Africa, we started our business. They used to tell me that uh, we did. We started the business in jungles of East Africa. I used to, I used to open the, uh, you know, uh, the, the gate or uh, the door of the car, and there used to snakes in my car. And there was a shootout in uh, uh, among his employees. The local goons had come and all those things. So when I used to hear the, hear those kind of stories uh, at that moment, I was like, when I join business, even I want to experiment, uh, you know, experience something like that. <laughs> but बोलने के लिए वो सब easy लगता है. And then I realized that just go with flow with the flow. When things happen in your life, you should also have uh, such stories. You should have experience, uh, you know, experienced certain things that you have stories to tell your uh, kids. If I business, I have done this. If I don't do it, I do it myself. So I have stories that we have tried this, it didn't happen. And my father said that this business I didn't try. और पापा ये स्टोरी बोलते थे कि मैंने ये किया तो मेरा बेटा बोलता था अरे ये क्यों नहीं किया आपने करेक्ट 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 तो दैट्स दैट्स ऑल अबाउट इट सर अगर मेरे हिसाब से तो वही है कि पहले डिसीजन ले लो कि फैमिली बिजनेस ज्वाइन करना है वहां से सीखो फिर अपना जो मर्जी है वो करो ब्रिलियंट 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 फॉर ऑल द वंडरफुल लिसनर्स गाइस दिस इज अ वेरी आउट एंड आउट क्लियर कट मैसेज द मैसेज इज वनफोल्ड इन केस यू हैव अ फैमिली बिजनेस Understand you have it, not know it. You have it, and जब आपको पता है कि आपका खुद का एक family business है, आप समझ सकते हैं उसका family business है, तो फिर उस family business में खुद जाके कुछ काम करो, कुछ सीखो। आपको यदि मर्जी अपनी life में कुछ करना है, तो ठीक है, that's one option you already have. But this is one thing first, and second, what he really nicely pointed out is एक आपके पास एक interesting story value होएगी, or a lot of challenges you go through because business is never a cakewalk. एक अच्छी खासी चैलेंजेस होएगी जिससे आप चैलेंजर भी बनोगे 45 की उम्र पे इनके फादर ने जब बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया है ओम के फादर बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया इज नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ एक्सीडेंट इट्स अ प्लांट थॉट अब 45 की उम्र पे जब बिजनेस चालू करना है तो आपको मालूम है कि यू हैव एल्डरली पेरेंट्स टू सपोर्ट आपका खुद का बीवी बच्चे सब हैं और फिर उनके साथ अपने को आगे जाना है Imagine the guts he must have developed. Imagine the energy he must have put into the business. And as he rightly pointed, his father is still enough aggressive to do ten thousand things right now. That's the most important thing, guys. Your family business, your strength becomes your power. Your family business becomes your power of achieving different, different goals and ambitions that you have set for your own life. That's the idea. We had Om Thakkar with us, guys. It was Om. I had thought that we will talk for about twenty-five minutes. We have already crossed thirty-five minutes. and it's been brilliant talking to you fantastic beta your inputs are very very valuable and i'm sure the listeners will enjoy talk uh, listening to you oh it was wonderful to have you with us and i wish you all the best have a great time beta thank you very much thank you sir it was a complete pleasure to you know interact and uh, you know know uh, things that probably i used to just have it in my mind and never just became very vocal about it <laughs> <laughs> it's always the first time it's always there there is always a first time True, true. Okay, bit. All right. Okay. Bye.